to be very destructive for community livelihood and the environment. We want to learn these lessons as to how mining can be shaped in northern Ghana. Given that now that uh, mine, northern Ghana is becoming like a, a hotbed of mining operations. The workshop themed building capacity and partnership for a transparent and accountable management of mineral resources brought together civil society organizations engaging the governors of mineral resources in the region and some parts of Ghana. As mining in the area takes a new flight, Professor Agnes hopes it will help bridge the gap between the south and the north in terms of poverty reduction. She believes Despite contribution of exploration of mineral resources to Ghana's gross domestic produce GDP and its employment of about 3,000 people in the mining sector, Mr. Emmanuel Kuyele of the Ford Foundation underscored the need to address the management of exploration to harness the full benefit of mineral wealth for the people. The first thing is to, uh, from the natural resources uh, perspective, we know that. Uh, properly managed and natural resources can contribute. The manner which is done is a major contributing factor to issues of inequality in most resource rich countries. And so it's uh, our interest really is to see how the extraction can be done uh, in a way to uh, address the issues of inequality and proof. Mrs. Hanousu Kranting also speaking to other news said legal is illegal it's a problem and it's a problem because it happens on the land and it has displaced a lot of people when community people in the Takwa western region area heard about mining they held it because they were used to mining and then they realized that they were losing out because of surface mining and if you go to the region today and you ask a cross-section of people whether they want mining or not. People still dream about underground mining and the job opportunities that it created for their families and themselves. And also the rights of people having access to surface land to use for other land use purposes. And so that was the deception of mining when they were located in the Western region. And away from the Savannah region, we move straight to the northern region where Savlugu and PP have suspended three polling station officers for holding a press conference to counter Dr. Mahamud Baumi, a flag bearer ship endorsement. The affected executives include Issa Kufuseini, Dusaini Abdullahi, Mustafa and Abdul Karim Zakaria. Members of the new patriotic party in the Savlugu constituency have in a press conference and a press release disassociated themselves from some three police station officers, namely Ishako Fuseini, Deishuni Abdul Mustafa and Abdul Karim Zakaria, in a bid to counter the Vice President Dr. Baumia's flag bearership endorsement in the Sablugu constituency. In a letter signed by Sablugu constituency chairman Mr. Abdul Karim Zakaria, he said the suspension follows their gross misconduct before and during the just-ended constituency annual delegate conference this week. He noted that the polling station officers publicly made unsubstantial